Hey, what's up everybody? The Fish Tank Guy here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about attaching an internal overflow box to your aquarium. That's kind of a tongue twister. Now, if you've chosen to drill your aquarium, you've got your internal overflow box, but you don't know or are not sure how to get it attached, that's what I'm gonna be taking you through today. If you've drilled out your aquarium and you don't have an internal overflow box, here's one right here, and you can pick this up from Reef Creators. This is a really nice, I believe it's a 700 gallon per hour overflow box. You can purchase it from Reef Creators on their website, and they also sell them on eBay. I believe on their website they're $25 a piece, but I went on eBay and I got a few of them, so the guy gave me a pretty nice discount and I got them for $15 each. They're very well made and uh, they'll be perfect for the inside of your aquarium. So you'll need that, of course. You'll need the overflow box. Now for the other supplies of getting it attached, it's pretty easy. I have the paper towel and a water spray bottle here just to make sure I clean the inside of the glass very well. Because it is the inside of the tank, you don't wanna use any cleaning products such as Windex or Fantastic or anything like that. You just wanna straight up use water. Make sure you wipe the inside of the glass where you will be attaching the overflow box very well so your silicone adheres to it properly. That is the last piece of the puzzle. Here I purchased, it's called DAP All-Purpose Adhesive Sealant. I don't know if you can see it very good with some of the glare there. There you go. DAP All-Purpose Adhesive Sealant. It's 100% silicone right on the package. It says it's aquarium safe. Now this tube was $4.50. Some people might choose to go with the larger tubes that you put into a caulking gun, but for a smaller application, uh, application such as this, you'll see that the box itself is fairly thin here in terms of the bead of silicone you'll need. I went with the smaller squeezable tube just for cleanliness and ease of use. So it's really up to you. For me, I thought that was best for this project. So now that we have the supplies out of the way, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tip your tank on the side so the surface that you'll be adhering the Overflow box two is on the bottom, um, resting on your counter or tabletop. And then I'll talk to you about adding your silicone and smoothing it out and attaching it to your actual aquarium. Okay, so we have our aquarium on its side. Now we wanna make sure we figure out where we're going to place the overflow box before we apply the silicone. Now the good rule of thumb is horizontally, you just want that hole right in the middle of the box. Vertically, you are more concerned about where you want your water level to be in your display tank. Now the nice thing about this box from Reef Creators is due to the length of the teeth at the top of the box, I can essentially just push the box right up against the rim of the tank and it's going to be perfect. The water level will be right at that rim when you're looking at the tank from the outside and that's exactly where I want it to be. Now for you, it might be a little different. You're just gonna have to take that into account. But the most important thing here is to figure out where you wanna place the box before you apply the silicone to it. Now I'm gonna try to work my best around the camera here, but I've cut a 45 degree angle towards the end of the tip that they give you here. So the bead is roughly the same size as the width of our overflow box and all you try to do is apply an even bead all the way around. Now that we have our silicone bead in place on our overflow box, we're going to want to apply it to the actual aquarium. Here I'm going to try to line it up, get that hole right in the middle. I told you I was able to put the box right up against the rim, which is nice. And then I simply am going to set it down. I'm not really going to apply any pressure, I'm just going to let its own weight sit down on that bead of silicone. And then I'm simply going to go around with my finger and smooth out the silicone around the edges. I 
Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, before you go and stand your aquarium back up, they recommend that you wait 24 hours for the silicone to cure. You can wait that full 24 hours and play it safe, or you could wait, you know, just a few hours and stand it up, and it'll probably be okay. But you definitely want to wait the full 24 hours before you try to test it or put water into your aquarium or things like that. So here's our final product. As you can see, the overflow box actually looks like it basically came this way in the aquarium. It's not all that difficult to do. As long as you smooth out your silicone and make it look pretty nice, uh, it looks like a professional job as far as I'm concerned, right? So uh, the last thing that you wanna make sure you do is test your seals, okay? So you'll wanna fill up the aquarium um, almost all the way up to the teeth of the box and make sure that you don't have any water leaking into the box uh, where you silicone the box onto the aquarium. The reason for that is if you have any leaks, it will slowly allow the tank to entirely drain out of where your bulkhead is, which might send a little bit too much water down to your sump, which might cause a problem with overflowing. So that's one thing you definitely wanna do before you call this all good and ready to roll. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward to attach your overflow box to the inside of your aquarium. So once again, I'm the Fish Tank Guy. Thank you so much for checking out my channel in this video. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave that below. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And keep on checking out some of the stuff I'm making, especially uh, with the new Fish Tank Tower series. So all right, that sounds good. Until a future Fish Tank Guy video, I will see you guys soon.